we've got a triangle here where we know two of the angles and one of the sides. And what I claim is that I can figure out everything else about this triangle just with this information. You give me two angles and a side, and I can figure out what the other two sides are going to be, and I can, of course, figure out the third angle. So let's, let's try to figure that out. And the way that we're going to do it, we're going to use something called the law of signs. And in a future video, I will prove the law of signs. But here, I am just going to show you how we can actually apply it. And it's a fairly straightforward idea. The law of sines just tells us that the ratio between a si the sine of an angle and the side opposite to it is going to be constant for any of the angles in a triangle. So for example, for this triangle right over here, this is a 30 degree angle, this is a 45 degree angle. They have to add up to 180, so, so this right over here has to be a, let's see, so it's going to be 180, minus 45 minus 30. That's 180 minus 75. So this is going to equal a 105 degree angle right over here. 105 degree angle. And so applying the law of sines here, and actually let me label the different sides. Let's call this side right over here. Let's call this side right over here side A, or has length A. And let's call this side right over here. Let's say this side right over here has length, length B. So the law of sines tells us that the ratio between the sine of an angle and at the opposite side is going to be constant through this triangle. So it tells us that sine of this angle, sine of 30 degrees, over the length of the side opposite is going to be equal to, is going to be equal to sine of 105 degrees, sine of 105 degrees over the length of the side opposite to it which is going to be equal to which is going to be equal to sine of 45 degrees sine of 45 degrees equal to the length of the side opposite so sine of 45 degrees over b and so if we wanted to figure out a we could solve this equation right over here and if we wanted to solve for b we could just set this equal to that right over there so let's solve each of these so what is the sine of 30 degrees well, you just might remember it from your unit circles or from even 30, 60, 90 triangles that that's 1 half. And if you don't remember it, you can use a calculator to verify that. I already verified that this is in degree mode. So it's 0.5. So this is going to be equal to 1 half over 2. So the, another way of thinking about it, that's going to be equal to 1 fourth. This piece is equal to 1 fourth, is equal to a sine of, or is equal to sine of 105 degrees over a. So let me write this. This is equal to sine of 105 degrees over A. And actually, we could also say, since we could actually kind of do both at the same time, that this is equal to that. That 1 fourth is equal to, is equal to sine of 45 degrees over B. And actually, sine of 45 degrees is, is, is another one of those that it's easy to jump out of kind of your unit circle. You might remember it's square root of 2 over 2. So let's just write that. That's square root of 2, square root of 2 over 2. And you could use a calculator, but you'll get some decimal value right over there. But in either case, in either of these equations, let's solve for A and then let's solve for B. So one thing we could do is we could take the reciprocal of both sides of this equation. The reciprocal of 1 fourth is 4. And the reciprocal of this right-hand side is A over the sine of 105 degrees. And now to solve for A, we can just multiply both sides times the sine of 105 degrees. So we get 4 times the sine, 4 times the sine of 105 degrees is equal to A. So let's get our calculator out. So 4 times the sine of 105 gives us, let's see, it's approximately equal to, let's say, let's just round to the nearest hundreds, 3.86. So A is approximately equal to 3.86. So approximately 3.86, which looks about right. If this is 2, and if I made my angles appropriately, that looks like about 3.86. And let's figure out what B is. We could once again take the reciprocal of both sides of this, and we get 4 is equal to B over square root of 2 over 2. We can multiply both sides times square root of 2 over 2, and we would get b is equal to 4, 4 times the square root of 2 over 2. Square root of 2 over 2, or we can think of it, b is 4 times 
the sine of 45 degrees. But let's think, let's figure out what that is. So if we want an actual numerical value, we could just write this as two square roots of two, but let's actually figure out what that is. Two square roots of two is equal to two point, let's say it's eight three. So B, B is approximately equal to 2.83. So let me be clear. This, 4 divided by 2 is 2 square roots of 2, which is 2.8, which is approximately equal to, approximately equal to 2.83 if we round to the nearest hundreds. 2.83, which also seems pretty reasonable here. So the key, the key of the law of so cosines is if you have, let's say you have two angles and a side, you're able to figure out everything else about it. Or if, if you actually had two, if you had uh, two sides and an angle, you also would be able to figure out uh, everything else about the triangle.